Uh, now I also want to talk about um, what science has, you know, showed us as as, as reality. And I, I want to go to another one of your favorites, <laughs> <laughs> Yuval Harari. Yeah. Uh, also, the only book I read about him is Sapiens, sure. which I think is fascinating in the mm -hmm. historical explanation on how Homo sapiens uh, came to be the, the predominant uh, of all the species sure. of, of humanity, sure. right? And he talks about our moral codes, and he puts two examples. The first one is the Hammurabi Code, mm -hmm. 4,000 uh, or, or more year, years ago. And then he talks about the Declaration of Independence of the United States yep. as one of the most important documents that as humanity we have come up with. Now, he says, if we would have to rewrite the Declaration according to what, has, what science has shown us, and he makes this exercise that, that I want to, to, sure. to, to give you so you can have your opinion. So the Declaration of Independence says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. According to the science of biology, people were not created, they have evolved and they have certainly did not evolve to be equal. The idea of equality is inextricably intertwined with the idea of creation. The Americans got the idea of equality from Christianity, which argues that every person has a divinely created soul and that all souls are equal before God. However, if we do not believe in the Christian myths about God, creation and souls what does it mean that all people are equal? Evolution is based on difference, not on equality. Every person carries a somewhat different genetic code and it is exposed from birth to different environmental influences. This leads to the development of different qualities that carry with them different chances for survival. Created equal should therefore be translated into evolved differently. So that's the first thing that well, he changed. Let, let, let's challenge that and then we'll go to the second uh, part. Okay. okay? So, you know, I mean, Harari has no concept and no idea of what the Founding Fathers are talking about, unfortunately. He, he completely misunderstands them uh, because he can't think in the terms and at the level that the Founders did. What do they mean by equality? Of course they know people are different. You don't have to know DNA. You don't have to get into DNA to know people are different. You just have to look around the room. We're all different. Look, look at the two of us. We're very different, yeah. right? People are different. Of course they are. They, they think differently. They, 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 they look differently. They act differently. They have different temperaments, inclinations, ideas, moral characters, all of this. The founders knew this. The idea that you had to have Darwin tell us that we're all different is nonsense. No, it's true. Not all men. He's right about creator. Okay, so... You we know, evolved differently. We, we evolved, yeah. right? But, 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 you know, first of all, they wrote this before evolution. But secondly, they, they did believe in some kind of essential creator, although they didn't want to... They, they purposely did not write God because they, they, they were not very religious men. Yeah. But that's not the point I'm making. They're not making the point that we're all the same. And again, somebody is smarter than Surawi, this is not that hard. They're making the point. I mean, I'm serious. It, it really boggles my mind that, that, that and, and this is where I think philosophy plays a role. Right. He's got a bad philosophy and it's shaping the way he interprets these things. What does they mean by created equal? He means equal, they mean equally free, equally uh, with the ability to uh, make decisions for themselves. Mm -hmm. Not that those decisions would be equally good for them because some people maybe have better moral character than others, smarter than others and so on but that they all have a right to make decisions for themselves. They all have the right to be free. They're all equal in their inalienable rights, mm -hmm. not equal in their characteristics. I mean, that's just silliness. Uh, of course we're different. One of the reasons why we should be equally before the law, equal in our rights, equal in our freedoms, is because of those differences. Mm -hmm. And when we have differences among us, one of the principles behind the declaration is we can't just pull out a gun and shoot each other. Right. We can't just fight it out in the streets. We have a system of laws that protects our individual rights from the use of force against one another. Mm. So every individual is free to pursue their individual happiness as they see fit based on their own rational mind. Right. That's what he means, but that's what they mean 
by equal. That's all they mean by equal. And um, again, it's, it's, it's political equality, not metaphysical or biological equality. That's just, that's silliness. And yeah, I mean, I wish they'd written evolved. Uh, uh, and and, 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 and I, wish they, I wish they'd said that this equality is uh, and the rights are uh, uh, a we're gonna requirement make, of human survival. When we, when we finish the exercise, we're going to make the, the, the phrase according to what objectivists <laughs> would write it. But, the, but I have to say, the Founding Fathers were pretty damn good. I know, I know, I know they were. <laughs> yeah, Come on. Yeah. And, and we're not I trying to apply 21st century logic to 1776 no. because that would be impossible. But what I want to. But I think to, what, what, what equality means is really, really important because the left, yeah, of course. as you know, uses equality in Harari's concept. Yes. We all have to be the same. We all have to have the same outcome or the same opportunities yeah. or some sameness. Right. That is impossible. And, and the founders are against that. Because why are they against that? Because they know that the only way to make us equal is right. to take from some and give to others. Yep. Right. And they're saying, no, you can't take from some and take, give to others because that would violate some people's rights. That would actually treat some people unequally before the law. And that's the, the equality that the left never wants to talk about, exactly. equality under the law. So it's political equality that they're talking about, not equality of outcome, economic equality, or metaphysical, biological equality. So, no, I wouldn't rewrite the declaration the way Harari suggests. Okay, not the way he suggested, but let's say We'll improve what else? on it later. So, there are... <laughs> There are no such thing as rights in biology, Harari says. There are only organs, abilities, and characteristics. Birds fly not because they have a right to fly, but because they have wings. And it's not true that these organs, abilities, and characteristics are unalienable. Many of them undergo constant mutations and may well be completely lost over time. The ostrich is a bird that lost its ability to fly. So unalienable rights should be translated into mutable characteristics. I want to strangle him. Okay, don't strangle him. <laughs> I don't him. really because I don't believe physical yeah, stuff. Before you go peaceful. on, let's do this. <laughs> right? I mean, this is where Harari shows himself to be a complete materialist who rejects free will, right. rejects our ability to, 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 not just free will, but uh, rejects our ability to conceptualize. Of course, rights are not things that exist within us. They're not like the glass or they're not like an organ or they're not like the DNA within us. Rights are an idea. They're an idea that's generated through reason. And, what, and this is what striking, right? But He's he does recognize that. that he, he recognized that as humanity, we come up with no, the idea of rights no. so that we can live peacefully. It just doesn't exist in biology. Yes, but biology is not everything, right? So why right, is it? Right. But why would you rewrite the, the declaration based on biology when it's not related to biology? It's related, related to political philosophy. That's it's related a good point. to how we live in society. So, but he's a materialist and he, he, he's rejecting, and society doesn't come up with anything. Some geniuses, right. a few real geniuses came up with these ideas based on the work of, of, of philosophers, based on the work of Locke and the Enlightenment, and came up with, with, with some ideas and formulations mm -hmm. that, that, are there, that are designed in order to make it possible for us to live in society in a peaceful way, in a way that is, uh, that is consistent with human flourishing, individual human flourishing. But he can only see the world in terms of biology. He only sees the world, and he is writing a book about Homo sapiens. The characteristic of Homo sapiens, what makes us Homo sapiens, what makes us different from any other animal, mm -hmm. is not a biology. No, it's, it's language and communication. It's, no, it's not even language and communication, because those are only the consequences. It, you can't communicate unless you think. Right. You can't have a language unless your, your mind is trying to integrate different concretes into a concept. Yeah. The fundamental is thinking. Thinking, it's, it's, it's observing, it's awareness of, our, of the world out there, integrating the observations, forming concepts, and then integrating those concepts into higher concepts. It's using your mind, using logic. And that is not biology. Mm. That is something our consciousness does. How it does it exactly, we don't exactly know. This is part neuroscience doesn't yet know exactly how we do it. But we know we control it. This is where free will steps in. And yeah. again, something I think Harari rejects. And I've seen him reject it in other, uh, other articles he's written. We control it. We can, you know, we're fallible because we can make mistakes. Because we can make mistakes in how we control it and how we use our reason and how we use our, 
a rational faculty. So Harari is here is imposing a materialism, a biological determinism mm -hmm. on a declaration of independence, which is a massive achievement of conceptual thinking, of free will, of man's at his best, at his highest. And he wants to bring us down to the level of chimpanzees. And it's true. Chimpanzees just have organs. So chimpanzees don't have rights and chimpanzees can't conceive of rights and chimpanzees can't conceive of political equality. And all of this is, you know, for them, uh, for chimpanzees, irrelevant and true. But we're not chimpanzees. Right. We're homo sapiens, which right. he should know. Dyron, or right. You demonstrate it in, in human terms in your novel Atlas Shrugged. And let me start by quoting from a review of this novel, Atlas Shrug, that appeared in Newsweek. It said that you are out to destroy almost every edifice in the contemporary American way of life, our Judeo-Christian religion, our modified government-regulated capitalism, our rule by the majority will. Other reviews have said that you scorn churches and the concept of God. Are these accurate criticisms? Uh, yes. I agree with the facts, but not the estimates of this criticism. Namely, if I am challenging the base of all these institutions, I'm challenging the moral code of altruism, the precept that man's moral duty is to live for others, that man must sacrifice himself to others, which is the present day morality. What do you Since mean by I sacrifice himself for others? This now we're moment. getting to the point. One moment. Since I'm challenging the base, I necessarily would challenge the institutions you named, which are a result of that morality. All right. And now what is self-sacrifice? Yes, what is self-sacrifice? You say that you do not like the altruism by which we live. You, you like a certain kind of Ayn Randist selfishness. I uh, would say that I don't like is too weak a word. I consider it evil, and uh, self-sacrifice is the precept that man needs to serve others in order to justify his existence, that his moral duty is to serve others. That is what most people believe today. Well, yes, we're taught to feel concerned for our fellow man, to feel responsible for his welfare, to feel that we are, as religious people uh, might put it, children under God and responsible one for the other. Now, why do you rebel? What's wrong with this philosophy? But that is what, uh, in fact, makes man a sacrificial animal. That man must work for others, concern himself with others, or be responsible for them. That is the role of a sacrificial object. I say that man is entitled to his own happiness and that he must achieve it himself. But that he cannot demand that others give up their lives to make him happy. I'm and right. nor should he wish to sacrifice himself for the happiness of others. I hold that man should have self-esteem. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, Please take this opportunity, go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...